now have two small exercises for you. Neither of them are designed to sound particularly nice, but they hopefully help you to focus again on your airstream and also open the aperture of your embouchure, which means the hole of your embouchure, to make that a little bit more open and to keep create the sense of airflow and also to feel the central tongue position and where it is. Now, the second exercise I'd like to show you, again, is something I maybe I do this as a similar to the chops relaxer sometimes. I do it in between things when I want to just relax, loosen up, get my lips vibrating a bit, open the aperture. And what it is is uh, I play from bottom F sharp up to C and back down again, legato, about mezzo forte maybe. And what I do is stay on the F sharp throughout, which means that every note I play, I'm going to have to adjust something in my mouth, whether that's my central tongue position or my airstream or a position on my embouchure, just to keep it at that F sharp pitch. And do this nice and slowly. Obviously, I'm going to be doing it a little bit faster for the sake of the camera, but also because I've done it an awful lot and I know where those positions are inside my mouth a bit more than you might do to start with. Just to let you know that on the penultimate note, so when I was playing the fingering for a G and playing the F sharp, what I actually did was to crescendo a little bit more. So then when I went down to the correct fingering finally for the F sharp and played it, it meant that I hit the note a little bit more in the middle than I would do if I didn't do that crescendo, which you will discover if you don't. It'll, you'll find that the F sharp hits too low. Then when I hit the F sharp uh, on the correct fingering at the end, I did a decrescendo and just held it for as long as I could and really tried to challenge myself to play it as quietly as I can. And of course, if the note cuts out on me, what I should do is just, if there's some air left, is just to try to get back the F sharp and then start to decrescendo on it again. So um, good luck with those.